Hey, what's up? I was sitting here just picking up uh, flight pads in World of Warcraft on uh, my newest Warlock character. Picked up the game again just, just for the heck of it. I've I've had been wanting to return to it for a while, but um, it, I took my time this time. It's been like at least a year. I gave myself time, I'm like, because I was like, I've returned to the game multiple times um, ever since I originally quit and never expected to return to the game again like I, I never did like when when i first quit this game i thought i was like all right there's no way i'll ever come back to this um anyways i've been back to the game multiple times and i was just i was sitting here thinking i'm, I'm like i'm flying through the world and picking up some flight pads and i was like i've had to stop before it's like what would this game be like to be a new player like how would that experience be um, and it's hard to imagine for me because I spent a little over five years like hardcore playing this game. So even when I returned and the game was fresh and new and a lot changed, like a lot changed. Um, it was almost new every time I came back. Um, I still knew the world, you know, I was still very familiar with each zone, most of them, except for the brand new content, which what I was what I was returning for. So I was very familiar with all the stuff, how it played and all that. So I, I often wonder, what that, I'm like, how would a brand new player experience leveling like professions? Because um, it's a different system now, but they still have the zones that have the different lower level um, profession stuff, you know, that kind of a thing. So um, most right now, the way the game plays is basically in, a, in the easiest way to put it. It's like streamlined to get you to the newest expansion. Um, so it, it gives you a fun experience to play through, but it seems like it's just directed specifically to get you to level cap and in the newest content rather than actually experience the old content. Um, and um, I don't know if that's on purpose maybe i mean it, maybe um i mean it works but uh, and the reason i think about it is because it you know to experience the full game the original game even just the first one before one single expansion it was a huge world huge big really really i mean it's huge before expansions you know um and you just do not experience the content the same way it's, it's not possible it's like literally not possible the game is fully different now right um so i don't know i was just thinking about it. i was like how would I, I like i don't even know if i could explain to a brand new player how to play this game in a way that might be comfortable for them other than this the the, the way the game is designed now <clears throat> you couldn't possibly enjoy all of the vanilla content uh, vanilla is the uh, the very first original game before expansions it's I don't know, I forget why it's even referred to as vanilla. Um, I, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but it's impossible for you to experience that full world um, from level 1 to max level in a normal way. You, you can't. Um, it's, it's just not possible. Um, so... <laughs> I don't even let me see if I can bring it up real quick because I don't remember I don't oh no I don't think I can um they do have the suggested content stuff which is pretty cool but I wanted to show you something that I'm not at and I didn't <laughs> I would have prepared it if I uh, thought of it sooner the um suggested content thing is really good um but what I would say is when you first start the game just start in the main city and then that's so hard to, I'm like how do you explain it to somebody because it is going to throw you a bunch of quests that would that might lead you somewhere you might not want to go because it's going to go it's 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 a trip there's a lot I, I imagine this would be overwhelming um what i want to say is you start out in your starting city but it depends on which which class you play but um start out in your starting city pick up you know the first quest that you always start with the quest like right in front of your character when you spawn in and then I would say, like, if you just want to enjoy the game, right, you're not in a rush, you don't want to run to the end game and then get there as quickly as possible and then start farming gear, you know, you just want to play the game, right? Just pick up the quest where you immediately start and just go from there, you know, and just follow the where the quests take you. 
Um, if you start noticing, um, if you start to pick up some quests here and there that might teleport you or expect you to go across the world, you, I would say ignore those quests. <laughs> it was different a long time ago when you played vanilla. Like some of those quests you literally had to do. We, we were running all over the world, man. There, there were almost no flight paths, dude. There was like zones between flight paths dude you know they added a ton of flight paths over the years um so you're just running across this huge world uh, forever and and some of those quests would take you from one city across the entire damn continent man like I, <laughs> um <laughs> oh this i don't even i never did well I'm trying to find like a better example of what I'm talking about because it's just funny. I mean, it's hard to show it with the because you have to go through each map and whatever. But I mean, some of the quests would just have you go all over. You'd be taking boats, blimps for the horde. Um, I don't think Alliance had blimps. Um, you know, just all kinds of stuff, and as well as running across this huge world. That's not even a thing anymore uh, because they added more quests. They added more quests hub. They refined the game ever since it first came out. Like hey, quests aren't so spread out anymore. Um, but back then, I mean, while I liked a lot of the changes they did, um, it, it, did it did take the adventure out, of, right? Like it just kind of is just instead of adventure being there and exploration, which you can still do, it's cool. But it's like just you're just kind of guided straight through, you know, right? Like. Um, but it is it is good, especially for I mean it's best for alts really. But as far as like a first time experience with this game, I don't even. Uh, it's got to be weird. It's got to be weird. Um, I definitely like the way that they changed the the uh, the zone levels and stuff. The way that you can actually kind of, in a sense, pick a zone and like do all the quests there, and you can just level. You know. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, it's um, it's hard to. I've had I've had this thought. I've had I've been thinking to myself for years now, um, at least a couple of years, yeah, if not a few or whatever. But I've just been wondering. I'm like, how would I explain this to a new player? Because, I, I, the, I, the, generally, the game is really simple to like jump into. Really easy. You can jump into it and you can just play. But it will not take long. Around twenty level twenty or level thirty, where they're gonna start throwing like a ton of stuff at you. Um, <laughs> hold on a sec. You sorry about that, <clears throat> man. Uh, I was mentioning I brought up the adventure guide for a moment. So they'll have the suggestion content. <clears throat> and there's so much in the game at this point. Um, I have enjoyed going back and completing zones that I never fully finished. Like um, there's a thing called Lore Master. Uh, there are all kinds of like little achievements in the game that you can do. Like exploring every part of the world, every part of the maps and all that kind of stuff. And I always eventually had planned to go back and hundred percent everything on my main character which was my priest um and, and i've tried i've started this uh you know the last time i was playing this game was um bfa i was the last time i was playing hardcore i played a lot of bfa I really liked that expansion they got crapped on um by the internet but i loved it and then i played shadowlands but i didn't play for much for very long um didn't hate it or anything i just didn't want to keep playing as all. Well. I, I, I've been on, on and off with WoW. I was really super hardcore for a long time, and then I took. I, I thought I quit for good, and then I just casually have returned. And I and there's been a few times where I thought I was going to re return really hardcore, um, and and you know temporarily hardcore, I guess. You know, like if I played like straight for like a year for one of the expansions, if I just played it nonstop for that year, that's pretty hardcore for a year. Um. When I think hardcore, I just remember back to playing, you know, many years of these um, MMOs and multiple games in the past for multiple years. Um, that's pretty hardcore, especially when we play it like every day, all day long. Um, I don't remember why I was saying that. 
but the adventure guide um you have really i wish i know i had a point to that and i can't remember what i was why i was saying that sorry uh so the adventure guide there's just so much to do and uh it depends on what level too like when you first start like i don't even think you have an adventure guide until like level 10 i don't remember when when you get the adventure guide maybe you do have it right away i don't think so i think it's level 10 the adventure guide that shows up on the menu but um it'll suggest to you content that you should do and it's actually pretty decent so i would say um I would I would say like if if you don't know what to do and you're bored of what you're doing, right? Like if you don't like kind of just following the quests from your starting area cuz once you once you start questing from the very first starting place that like you you create a character, you go into the world, you're going to have quests like right away to do. Um and if you just keep following those quests, like they'll take you everywhere. Um so you can just you can just quest all day and just follow that around and then whatever. But um, if you start to get bored and kind of wonder of what else you might might be out there, whatever, um, open up the adventure guide, and um, it'll it'll just it'll tell you different things you can do. Uh, I tell you what, it'll suggest what zones to go to. It gives you a little brief, tiny, like little description of the zone. Some of them not very good, but um, they're little brief descriptions of the zone, the story that the just the story that's happening there. And it'll give you a quest, and then you have to go to that zone. So. The thing about that is, uh, I'm not sure. Again, as, as a brand new fresh player, um, I haven't paid enough attention to exactly where where they. Anyways, um, some of them might take you to a faraway place um, that you've never been to. Like if you're you never played World of Warcraft before, this is, this, this suggestion thing is telling you, you can go way the heck over here. You're not gonna have an idea, any idea how to get there. Um, there's all kind like I was talking about. You take boats, you take blimps. You, you know you run across the world there's a lot of stuff that you do the flight paths are the easiest and the quickest but first you have to discover them right like to get there first on foot or to get to unlock them um so so there's that also to to consider um like i said like i i, I think that um if you want to just enjoy the game and it's your first time just follow the quest that you start with and see where they take you and if they take you too far if you start it depends um but i would say if, if you if you start seeing your quest and you open up the map and it's showing you like somewhere you're like i don't even know how to get there um i would say just ignore that for now and continue with the other ones you know anyways um i think i've said enough uh for now i, I just wanted to share some thoughts real quick because i was sitting here i was having them and i was like you know what i guess i'll record this i i would rather make a real guide guide you know um maybe one day i don't expect to or anything but uh, it's cool. I've had the idea before too, but uh, right now I'm not having any plans to do anything like that. Um, you, most of the I've only done like two guides, two or three guide guides in the past. One was for um, Shadow of Mordor, because uh, I loved that game, and the other was for Paladins, another game I really enjoyed. Um, I haven't made many guides. I think I had another one actually. But uh, but the only reason I did those was because I was just like super really into the game. Well, one was for work, and I just happened to really enjoy that project. Uh, the one for Paladins, the guide. Um, but yeah, it was just uh, just this one and this game, dude. Like I don't, I'm telling you, man, I don't even know. Like I, I'm curious. I'm curious. Kind of makes me want to go look up uh and try to find like youtube videos i don't even I, it's probably impossible but like look for a youtube video like brand new player who never played world of warcraft before <laughs> here's what the experience is like like i don't know uh some of it's got to be confusing i am maybe right maybe again it's not a hard to understand a game it's just there's so much content and you're kind of rushed through it now um it's it's you used to experience this especially like the vanilla world of warcraft like extremely slowly very slow pace very slow <laughs> um i mean back then when this game was first out i used to call it the casual like everquest in comparison uh, in comparison everquest was really grindy as far as like leveling up right like leveling up was really grindy um and then this one was quicker but i mean my gosh it's nothing compared to what it is now i mean dude dude like if you were taking your time casual, like in when this game first came, it could take you two months to hit level cap. 
I'm guessing, I'm guessing, right? Like, I don't know for sure. I cannot remember that because I didn't, I never timed that, but I know it took a long time. Like I, I, I played that game, like I played that game hardcore and I, I hadn't rated for many months, many, well, um, I also, well, I mean, part of that was I wasn't, I wasn't in a rush. I didn't even, wasn't even sure I'd ever raid or, you know, I just ended up meeting people and playing and stuff. Um, but yeah, it wasn't my goal. Like it, it's what I'm saying. It's part of a, like the difference then and now, is the game streamlines you like straight through everything. Um, so it, it it works really well in comparison as far as leveling up. Um, it's nice to have the quests kind of I guess what condenser or whatever. The, the hubs are much nicer for the quests. Like if they're not super spread out, you're not running across the map just to do like a single quest. <laughs> Which again. Some of those were kind of cool, you know, it, and it also was how you were introduced to the new zones and stuff, you know, just really long runs across the world to get to a flight path, <laughs> Dude, because there weren't 10 different flight paths in each zone. There was like one flight path per two zones, you know, <laughs> oh man, that's, that's funny, man. Um, but anyways, all right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.